Greetings from Sri Lanka. My name is Lalis Senevina. I am the retired Director General of the Sri Lanka Standards Institution and former Chairman of the Consumer Affairs Authority. So dear participants, I am very happy to share some thoughts with respect to my research, which I have been carried out in Sri Lanka in relation to quality management practices. So this is the first time that I will be taking part in this science tech management conference. And I, first of all, take this opportunity to thank the Dr. Shaho for inviting me and encouraging me to take part to take part in this conference. So let's start my presentation. So the title of my research is the effects of determinants of quality management systems on business performance a perspective of Sri Lanka and ISO 9000 certified manufacturing firms. In order to do this presentation, the presentation outline is, is as follows. Introduction, literature review, conceptual framework and hypothesis, research methodology, research findings, research conclusions, recommendations, and contributions. So this research is very much important because as all of us know that quality is becoming a competitive weapon as far as the Sri Lankan context and not only that even in the international scene. Because in view of this stiff competition in order to sell products to the consumers, quality has been considered as one of the critical items in the manufacturing industry. As we know, quality of production least leading to the manufacturing of quality assures product, assured products play a critical role as that helps to manufacture products, minimizing waste to market and also to sell those products at an affordable price. So what happened is at the moment in most of the manufacturing entities, they do not have an idea about the ways that will take place within their premises due to the defective products that take place. For an example, if they manufacture 100 products, if 10 products are defective, then that defective products will go as waste. Or it has to be reprocessed or to recycle to get it to the right quality level to be sent to the market. That is an additional cost. Therefore, waste is a cost. The cost will lead the profit of the organizations. So therefore, in view of that, in view of that, in order to reduce the waste, one of the important things is to ensure that the quality of the products are assured at the time of manufacturing so that the organization will be benefited. Sri Lanka produces more than 500 different products and marketed not only in Sri Lankan context, but also in international markets. So as a result of that, quality is very important because in the international markets, the competition is very, very tough. Unless and until the products are quality assured, it's very difficult to sustain in such markets. So in view of that, Sri Lankan manufacturing organizations to assure quality, they have obtained ISO 9001 
quality management system certificates and that is used to market their products this standard was published by the international organization for standardization in the year 1987 and since then up to 2018 right throughout the world close to 878 1664 certificates have been issued maybe up to today the status would have been changed why because now two years already 2020 and we are at the moment so maybe the value as far as 2020 is concerned may not correct but this is what the latest literature available which i have taken from the ISO 2018 survey results. So because of that reason, ISO 9001 standard becomes an internationally recognized benchmark for quality management systems. As a result, this standard has been used by not only the manufacturing firms, but also service organizations in order to ensure that the quality is assured with the implementation of this quality management system standard. So if we look at the literature, certain scholars, as shown in this slide, they have found that the, once the ISO 9000 certificate has been obtained, those firms performance operating performance are better than the non-certified firms not only that the literature also indicates refining the quality management system heighten the physical strength of competitive advantage reduces production cost and escalates the market share of the organization. As per Mahoney, Lahab, and Silito, 2011, production or manufacturing process quality has been found to be improved as a result of the application of quality management system practices. In the same way, some other scholars have shown in this slide they also found that through their research work that the quality management practices lead to reduction of product product cost paving the way to maintain a sound business for an organization so ladies and gentlemen it is clear from this very brief explanation QMS, quality management practices implementation within an organization is very much important to cut down the waste stages within the organization while enhancing the quality of the products, paving the way to achieve excellence level. However, even though in the literature the studies were carried out in the developed countries in sri lankan context very few studies were carried out covering the manufacturing sector to determine the influence or the effect or the impact of the application of quality management system on the business performance therefore in the sri lankan context there is a gap in the literature considering that gap and to fulfill this gap since i have been working more than 36 years in the quality field i decided to enter into this field and to do a research to contribute to the literature by filling this gap as a result of this, 
this study was designed and conducted. Moving on, the research objectives are as follows. To examine the significance and the impact of the top management commitment on the business performance of ISO 9000 certified manufacturing firms in Sri Lanka. Second objective, to investigate the significance of the impact of customer focus on the business performance of ISO 9000 one certified manufacturing firms in Sri Lanka. To examine the significance of the impact, third one, of continual improvement on the business performance of ISO 9001 certified manufacturing firms in, in Sri Lanka. So after reviewing the literature in a very, very careful manner, three determinants were considered in order to ascertain the impact of quality management systems on the business performance. It's clear from this slide, the three determinants are top management commitment, then the second one is customer focus. Third one is the continual improvement. So to achieve this objective, the literature was reviewed, not only the theories, but also the published literature, published articles in different internationally recognized magazines were read carefully and selected appropriate literature and the theories. For this research, these theories have been considered. Demin's theory of quality management, Dura's theory of quality management, Crosby's theory of quality management, then Feigenbaum's theory of quality management and quality improvement theory. So these theories have given a lot of information, a lot of valuable ideas with respect to quality management practices and also the application of these theories were given in the published research articles by different scholars. Those also were considered in proceeding with this research work. As a result of this, for this research, a conceptual framework has been developed. The conceptual framework is shown in this slide where we can see the three determinants are there, top management commitment, customer focus, continual improvement, and on the other side is the business performance. These three determinants are the ones that I have considered to ascertain the impact of quality management system application on the business performance. And because of this conceptual model, these three determinants can be considered as independent variables, and this is the dependent variable. So in order to test this conceptual framework, then I have developed three hypotheses. The three hypotheses are as follows. Top management commitment has a significant impact on the business performance of ISO 9001 QMS certified manufacturing firms in Sri Lanka. So top management commitment has a significant impact on business performance, on the business performance of the on the business performance of ISO 9001 certified manufacturing firms in Sri Lanka. In the same token, customer focus has a significant impact on the business performance of ISO 9000 QMS certified manufacturing firms in Sri Lanka. That is the second one. Third one, continual improvement has a significant impact on the business performance of ISO 9001 QMS certified manufacturing firms in Sri Lanka. So in order to test these hypotheses, the research methodology has been designed as given in this slide. 
So the research was a deductive approach. Research used the deductive approach. Why? Because from the theory, we, I have selected certain parameters as I have shown like top management commitment, customer focus, continual improvement. Those are deduced from the theory and therefore it is a deductive approach. And also the research strategy. Is a quantitative survey research where a well structured questionnaire has been developed with Likert scale. And the population of the study was the total number of certified firms in Sri Lanka and data and a sample of 269 firms were collected for this study. In order to ensure this questionnaire is most appropriate and valid to the purpose of the research. The questionnaire was first tested by sending 35 questionnaires to selected experts, industries, industries of ISO 9000 certified industries. And at the same time, some experts who do have an idea about quality practices and the data were collected and then those were tested, those data were analyzed to look at the reliability and also to see the construct quality of the questionnaire and based on that the questionnaire was amended and adjusted based on the comments and certain questions, sorry, certain questions were deleted and revalidated the questionnaire. And as a result, the questionnaire is more appropriate, was more appropriate to use for this study. Then, in order to analyze the data, the questionnaire was then sent to the 269 firms selected and follow up with calls. And however, at the end of the day, only 210 companies were responded. And those data were the data that was used to analyze and to make the findings and the recommendations and conclusions in this study. In order to do this analysis, SPSS software 21 was used and as a result the research methodology is a quantitative research. So the data analysis has four levels. First the collected data was coded and see missing data and edit the data, screen it for outliers, where the outliers are there, and also then test for normality, where the data is having a normal distribution, normality. Then after that, each determiner here, for example, top management, customer focus, continual improvement, has a number of questions in the questionnaire. Therefore, those who analyze using descriptive statistics by calculating mean value and standard deviation. And in addition to that, demographic variables related data were also analyzed. That is the third step. And the fourth step, since that is the detailed analysis, before going to that detailed analysis, the linearity test, homogeneity test and multi linearity tests were performed prior to using SPSS to conduct multiple regression analysis. So those are the, 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 the methods, statistical methods and the approach used to analyze the data. So as I explained, the Descriptive statistics are the variables when we analyze 
the mean value and the standard deviation is like this. The mean values are 3.68, 3.73, 3.75 over business in one business performance 3.88. So this is one up to five Likert scale. One is strongly disagree, two is disagree, three is neither agree disagree, four is four, four denotes agree, five denotes strongly disagree. So in that context, we can see that the respondents more or less strongly agree about the, about the questions because the overall values are more or less four, close to four. More or less close to four. If we approximate it, more or less close to four. And the standard deviation is also not very uh, wide. As a result, the data are not scattered in a, in a higher way is more or less close to the mean value. And also the data to analyze by using Kronbacher's alpha. You can see here the Kronbacher's alpha is greater than 0.7. So therefore the data is reliable. So it's well above 0.7, the data is well above. So this shows that these, the participants views were, rough view were, based on this descriptive analysis, this top management commitment and customer focus and continual improvement do have a positive effect on the business performance. So however, if we look at the profile of the participants, demographic analysis, in Sri Lanka, we have educational levels, O level, A level, trade certificate, degree certificate, like that. So in mind this sample, you can see that if we take trade certificate, that is the rankers who are having professional certificates and the degrees that contribute to normally 85% of the sample. Therefore that indicates the data are or the questionnaires were completed by is skill level personal. Therefore, the data as given in the analysis can be acceptable as more appropriate and more relevant and reliable data. Therefore, the findings can be considered as more suitable for implementation. So gender analysis, when we look at gender analysis, it's about category frequency, male is 85%, 80%, and the female is 19%. So this, this is just to give you an idea about the, the population sample, which was used for this data analysis. So then the multiple regression analysis results is shown here for the total number of 210 uh, participants, usable questionnaires, is 210 out of that. So this is the table which was found uh, based on the analysis. Therefore, it's at the 0 0.5 level of significance. If we take it, you can see that top management commitment is significant. is because 0 0.04, the significant level which is less than 0 0.5. Customer focus is also same, 0, 0, 02. 0, 0, 001, continuous improvement. So considering that, these findings indicated that the H1, first hypothesis, top management commitment has a significant impact on the business performance of ISO 9000 QMS certified manufacturing firms in Sri Lanka. It was accepted because of the, the, the result shown in the previous slide. It is less than this value, 0 0.05. Same for other two also. Hence, all three hypotheses were accepted based on the analysis result. Therefore, based on these findings, what is the conclusion? The conclusion we can say that the study concluded 
that the determinants of the quality management system, namely top management commitment, customer focus, and continual improvement, significantly contribute to the business performance of the ISO 9000 manufacturing firms. Moreover, as per the analysis, the highest contributor is continual improvement. This concludes that the implementation of ISO 9000 QMS provides opportunities for manufacturing firms to continually improve the firm's activities leading to enhanced business performance. More, moreover, if we look at findings further conclude that customer focus is also an important determinant that helps the managers to one of the determine that helps the managers uh, to support the employees to understand the importance of satisfying the customers to attract and retain more customers that to support to enhance business support. So when we attract and retain more customers, it says that from this analysis, customer focus has, a, has an impact on, business, on the business performance that indicates the managers should train their employees to focus on the customers so that they can attract and retain, retain existing customers while attracting more customers. Not only that, uh, it says that also continual improvement is the most important one for an organization to achieve excellence level so the qms iso 9000 qms implementation will help them to achieve that goal and also in order to do all these things it is clear from the analysis we can conclude top management commitment is very much vital to enhance the business performance therefore in an organization Top management should provide the path for the employees to achieve the business excellence. So the recommendations of this study, managers of the manufacturing firms consider quality management implementation as a priority activity as it helps to increase the business performance and that in turn ensure the stability of the firms. Because the manufacturing firms can consider the implementation of quality management system because the, these three determinants which were selected are part and parcel of the ISO 9001 quality management system. So the result shows that contribute to enhance the business performance. Then chief executive officers of these manufacturing firms should ensure that top management commitment, customer focus and continual improvement of the quality management system should be given high priority as those are having a significant impact on the business performance. Third recommendation, the firm must encourage the employees to implement quality management system practices as part of their work activities. And in this regard, the firm should provide required training if necessary related to quality management system practices to employees as an encouragement to implement such practices because these systems to be implemented in an organization, the employees should be trained properly. Once they train properly only, they can understand what is all about this and their commitment can be obtained to implement these systems. And as a result, what will happen is at the end of the day, the organization will be benefited. And also the employees also will be benefited because their jobs will be secured. And the last one of the recommendations, more and more manufacturing companies in Sri Lanka need to be encouraged to proceed in adopting ISO 9001 QMS systems because that contribute to enhancing the business performance. Then going back to the contributions to knowledge, the key contribution to knowledge of this study is the development of an empirical based framework for analyzing the impact of QMS on the business performance. So that is the most important thing. conceptual model, which has been developed carefully after reading a lot of literature and obtaining information from the published literature and also from the uh, theories. Therefore, it adds to the body of the knowledge uh, as implementing of QMS practices 
of the business performance to be measured, that conceptual model can be considered. Second, the study extends the literature by employing a measurement model of QMS practices, constructs that take into account different indicator variables and proved effectively those indicator variables have a significant relationship with the constructs paving the way to use those as valid indicators because the questionnaire and everything were re-validated and use it in a proper manner after using appropriate statistical tools see, to see whether any deviations are there and those are eliminated and therefore this can be considered. Third, the research adds to the pool of knowledge by indicating that the implementation of QMS practices have a significant effect on the business performance. In the Sri Lankan context, it adds to the literature. This uh, QMS practices support to enhance the business performance. Fourth, some studies have been done on the quality management system on the business performance. Out of those, very little studies have empirically studied the impact of QMS practices and its influence on business performance. Hence, the study findings fulfill that gap because no studies are there, are very few, but therefore this study contribute uh, to ful fulfill that gap. Then contributions to theory. The findings of this research also show that this QMS is a strategic re resource as indicated in Deming's quality management theory because it leads to competitiveness in the form of improved QMS practices, which ultimately translate to NS business performance. As far as the Deming's theory is concerned, QMS is, is one of the tools to be used to ensure the competitiveness. So this contributes to that theory. The study also contributes better clarity and understanding of the impact of quality management practices and pursuit on business performance with the use of theoretical explanation and empirical assessment as the factors like top management commitment, customer focus, and continual improvement are identified as contributors of QMS function and those in turn influence on performance, firm performance. Lastly, the findings of this research also demonstrate the necessity of top management commitment to implement a successful quality management system leading to a business performance which in turn in line with the theories of Devin, Turan, Crosby and quality improvement, which I have selected to study, to do this research. So the contribution to policy and practice, policymakers and also practice. Most of the policymakers are struggling to enhance the business performance of small and medium enterprises of Sri Lanka. And for that, a separate authority has been established in Sri Lanka. This study findings provide a valuable contribution that the implementation of the quality management system practices in a small and medium manufacturing firms would support to enhance business performance. Hence, the policymakers can extend the support to SMEs to small and medium enterprises to implement quality management practices as a national level strategy to develop SMEs in the manufacturing category. Then the second the study also indicated that upper management demonstrated commitment with a full customer oriented approach is very much important to achieve NAS business performance with the implementation of quality management practices. Moreover, policymakers can introduce incentive packages as an encouragement to adapt and implement ISO 9000 on QMS as that to strengthen the manufacturing sector of Sri Lanka. So suggestions for future research. This study includes all types of manufacturing firms that have implemented quality management system practices uh, that, that becomes a constraint in interpreting the empirical results covering a specific sector. Because in my research, I have not selected a specific sector like chemical sector, rubber sector, non-metallic mineral sector, food sector, no. All types of organizations are here. Therefore, in future research, a researcher can focus a specific industry sector basis study, then he can make his finding appropriately, specifically focused to that sector. The study also has not used any moderating or mediating variables. In future studies, the researcher can use, any researcher can use, moderator and mediator variables in designing the study. 
The study also has given more weightage to the quantitative side. This is a fully quantitative side this study. Even though limited qualitative data were collect were also collected, like like just talking, certain information were collected as I told you while uh, validating the questionnaire. Experts were consulted, but it is a very very little, very limited. And hence, in future studies, you can uh, researcher can have a very balanced approach to get the macro picture uh, where the qualitative and quantitative can be mixed and do a research. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I will finish my presentation and I thank all of you for your kind attention and I do hope that this research findings will be helpful for all of you and thank you very much.